Hey everybody, my name is Rob Campion. I'm a front-end dev at HubSpot. And today I'm gonna to talk about React Router. Uh, just wanna ask before I begin, how many people have used a routing library, say Angular uh, library, or just put your hands up? Okay, so the vast majority I think have used it. How many people have used React and JSX and all that? Okay, so a good few people. Uh, just to kind of back into so some of the routers, a lot of you have used these already, but um, say Apache 20 years ago had some sort of routing in it. Uh, Java Spring, you could do routing. And also in Angular, you could do some routing uh, pointing from a URL to a controller or to a template, HTML. And this is React Router. Uh, I'll get into it in more detail. Uh, if you think JSX is horrible and you think you're never gonna use it, don't worry, there's also a uh, pure uh, JS object way of creating routes and using React Router. So React Reader itself was started in 2014. It was inspired by Ember's Reader. Uh, V1 went live in November 2015. It's a non-Facebook project, so it will take contributions from everybody if, if they're good. And it's the de facto lib for routing in React. So um, this is the routing library that most people use. Straight into some examples. So let's say I want to build a simple app. So in this example, we have at the very beginning, we have a render function, and we pass it in the second um, uh, argument, we pass it a page element, so we say we want to render this page element. That's a concept from React. And then we have our router JSX tags here, and we say a route with a path of app points to a component, which is an application. So very straightforward when, um, your application is set up and somebody hits for slash app, they are brought to your app an application view. Pages, so obviously we're not gonna build an application with just one page, you wanna add multiple pages to it. And in this example, we've expanded out our application, we still have our for slash app, but we've brought in three new pages. So we have an index route, which is our, um, when someone hits for slash app, so just think of it as like an index.html. And that's set up to point to a homepage component. And then we also have a blog and an about page. Um, you can see there with the roots, that's basically how you define it with a path of blog. And that points to a blog page component. And again, if we look at this, we've got an app that points to homepage, app blog goes to blog page, app about goes to about page. So pretty straightforward, I think. I hope you all understand that. And if we look at what a component looks like in React, um, you just create a, a React class and each component must have a render function which spits back some HTML. So in this example, we have very simple div and that spits, or has some text inside it and that's what gets rendered in the UI when that component is loaded. Uh, another React um, router concept that it allows you to use is root not found. So for example, <coughs> Um, if somebody hits a page that you haven't got defined, so we've got a number of, of routes defined, but let's say they hit forward slash app forward slash ASDF, we can set up a page 404 component, you can see them, uh, and our last route that's defined there, and it will redirect to that page. So anything that's not defined will go to our page 404. If we want to pass parameters, so this would be a very common use case, so you have, say, a blog, um, page that you've set up and you want to pass some ID to it, so you want to point to a specific blog and not just the overall blogs page, you can have this syntax here with colon ID and that will point to the blog page. So let's say if I hit four slash app, four slash blog, one, two, three, uh, it will bring that into the blog page and I can pull that pro um, property from this.props.params, which is um, uh, properties that are injected into the blog page component. Um, and then we can have embedded pages as well. So in this case, we have an about page has a child element of popcorn and football, two of my favorite things in the world. And <laughs> if I go to app for slash about popcorn, it'll go to popcorn page. And you can see there's kind of nested view. I could have as many nested views as I want. I could have 100 nested views all within that component. Um, and here you can see what the about page looks like. You can see this.props.children is where the uh, internal um, views will be rendered within that component. Redirects are very simple, so let's say if I wanted to find, here I've got a redirect from football to soccer, um, uh, let's say because I want to change the name of it to soccer, and 
I can still have the redirect from football pointing to a soccer page and it will render my soccer page when someone hits that URL. Um, if you want to find out more, there is good documentation online on their GitHub page. Um, and also, yeah, just a plug here, we gave a much more expanded version of this talk at Dublin, uh, I was going to say Dublin JS, at React.js Dublin, um, and we've got a meetup set for that, and we're just kind of focused more on React, so if you're interested about learning about React, please visit our meetup, join us, and we'll have, say, meetups every quarter or so, or uh, uh, once or twice a year. Okay, that's it, thanks very much.